Do you even know what type of panel your monitor has? This is something that should be talked about way more than it currently is. It determines what your monitor will be good at and what it's not so good at. When people are looking for a new monitor, everyone is focusing on things like hertz, response time, and resolution. The actual panel that the monitor has just gets overlooked, even though it's literally the most important part of the monitor. So let's get into what all these panels are and why they're so important. The panels by themselves are extremely complex, so the first thing we're going to do is break them down in the simplest form possible. Each type of panel has its own specialty, so if you buy the wrong panel for what you normally use your monitor for, you will most likely be disappointed with your purchase, no matter the price you pay. There are four main types of panels. There's a TN panel, a VA panel, an OLED panel, and an IPS panel. They're all in the LCD family of monitor panels, except for the OLED panel, which uses newer and better technology. First, we have the TN panel. Twist cinematic panels are the oldest in the LCD family. For this reason, they also tend to be the cheapest. This allows for this multi-purpose display to be the mainstream choice for most desktop and laptop displays. The TN panel niche is competitive gaming. These panels are able to achieve very fast response times and they also have the fastest refresh rates on the market. With those factors in mind, TN panels are able to reduce blurring and screen tearing, allowing competitive gamers to do what they need to do with little to no restrictions from the monitor. There are some drawbacks to this panel though. Its viewing angles are the worst out of all the panels and the color accuracy is poor compared to its counterparts. So that's something you definitely want to keep in mind. The next type of panel is a VA panel. Vertical alignment panels were originally created to improve the worst attributes of the TN panel and it definitely did the job well. The VA panel offers much higher contrast and better color reproduction than the TN panels. It also improved on its poor viewing angles. This is a great panel for watching videos and movies. These panels allow for more detail to be shown in the way of shadows and highlights. There are a few drawbacks. What they gain in color accuracy, they lose in response time. So for gaming, this is not the most ideal panel for high intensity FPS shooters like Call of Duty and Valorant, but can be very nice for single player games like Assassin's Creed or Elden Ring. The IPS panel is considered the best all around panel out of them all. With that being said, they're also on the more expensive side of them as well. In-plane switching monitors use liquid crystals aligned parallel to each other to help it produce its rich color. This enhanced color allows it to easily surpass VA and TN monitors when it comes to color accuracy. It also has extremely good viewing angles which also helps the rich color come out even more. It's basically the Swiss Army knife of panels. It's good at everything with very minor drawbacks, but you definitely have to pay a pretty penny for it. The OLED or organic light emitting diode panel uses positively and negatively charged ions to light up every pixel on the panel individually. OLED panels are the most specialized out of the bunch. They are mainly 4K monitors with a 60 to 120Hz refresh rate. With this 4K display, it is by far the best looking panel out of all of them. So this is mainly used for people that watch a lot of movies or play a lot of single player games where the refresh rate isn't as important. As you could imagine, any 4K display is going to be expensive, and OLED panels are no exception. All of these panels have their own special niche, and picking the right panel should be the first and most important step when looking for a monitor. If you want to learn more about monitors, click the link for our complete monitor guide.